In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to derive the cosine rule. Okay, let's get started. So for this question, I have a triangle with sides A, B, C, and I'm going to be considering this angle over here, which is the angle theta. Okay, and so let's just get started. Right, uh, so I need one more thing, and that's this, uh, this vertical line that's perpendicular to the base. Okay, so over here, that's going to be 90 degrees. So using that, I can say what this length is going to be. So this length over here, using the angle theta, is, is simply going to be a cos theta. Okay, and let me call this height over here h. Right, and the, and the last thing that I want to point out is that the remaining length over here is going to be c minus a cos theta. Okay, in that case, uh, what we're really going to be using is Pythagoras. We're going to be using Pythagoras twice. Okay, so the first equation that I'm going to write is that I'm going to consider this, this little triangle, right? So I'm going to be considering this one. And using Pythagoras, the equation that I get is that uh, a, cos, a cos theta all squared plus h squared is equal to a squared. So I guess if you notice, this, this thing I can rewrite as simply as a squared cos squared theta. And this plus h squared is equal to a squared. This is going to be my first equation. The second equation is when I consider the second triangle. So the second triangle and then use Pythagoras. So using Pythagoras on the second equation, I will end up with, uh, what will I end up with this time? So I will end up with c minus a cos theta all squared uh, plus h squared is equal to b squared. So now this will form my second equation. Right, so now what do we do from here? So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go uh, 2 minus 1. All right, so this is, so we are almost up to our, our final proof. So we go 2 minus 1. Um, so expanding this bit out, so I'll just write it in small. So that's c squared minus 2ac cos theta uh, plus a squared cos squared theta, right? So th that's that's when you expand this thing out. You get that thing. So when I go to equation two minus equation one, this a squared terms, a squared terms will cancel out. So I should end up with uh, c squared minus 2ac cos theta h squareds will disappear because they cancel each other out is equal to b squared minus a squared okay so the final thing that i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to take this a squared over here to the other side so the final answer is that b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cos theta. Now if you're a bit confused and thinking, hey, this is, not, this is not the usual form that I'm used to, the usual form that you're probably used to is seeing c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos theta, right? But the thing is, if you think about it, if I swap my c with the b, right, so I should end up with this one, but this time in, in my new equation, the cos theta that I'm talking about is over here. Okay, so so basically you're looking at the theta that is opposite to the to the line that you're after, right? So B was against this theta, C over here, C over here was against this theta. Okay, so basically it's an angle opposite to the side. So that there you go. That's the final proof. Uh, interchanging between these two is just a matter of changing letters, right? So just be careful with which theta you need to be referring to. And that's it for the uh, for my cosine proof. If you have any questions, let me know. But uh, thanks for watching.